A Nomura report is pointing out that international flights between U.S. and China are barely back to where they were in 2019. On the other hand, flights between China and the Middle East, especially Egypt and also Saudi Arabia, are really back to close where they were during uh, before the pandemic. Part of that's because of a low base, but another big factor, according to Nomura, is geopolitics. We've seen how China and the Middle East have really grown closer together. China even brokering some restoration of relations between countries in that region. So a lot of warming up in terms of economic and capital flows between China and the Middle East. On the other hand, China and the U.S. are trying to, perhaps as President Biden said, reach a thaw in relations. We just had the Chinese ambassador to the U.S arrive in the country last week. So le less of a momentum there for a restoration of flights. And reports also say that the U.S. airlines are saying that the Chinese airlines have a competitive advantage in terms of where they can fly. And so there's a bit of a business incentive as well uh, going on there not to restore those flights to China. But on the U.S. side, they've allowed more Chinese carriers to operate flights between the countries. Just this past weekend, Air China was able to fly from Beijing to New York's JFK airport for the first time in months. And that's really pointing to what could be a recovery later on this year. Nomura expects maybe 70 percent of flights to recover. But I was just in the Beijing International Terminal a couple weeks ago. They were taking down a sign on a store for Chinese New Year 2020. So it just shows you how long we have to go. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.